All right, welcome back to another episode of War of Divisions. Um, today we're gonna consider whether or not we want to pull Leviathan here. Um, cool thing about Leviathan is uh, you can actually get all of his uh, you can actually get all of his shards if you want to spend uh, paid vizier. You can get all of them without ever having to proc the uh, whimsy shop. Uh, anyways, I'm kind of disappointed at these uh. 30 reissue tickets. I was kind of hoping I can get like 10 every day. Uh, but too bad. So we're gonna roll for Thanquit first. Um, uh, I'm gonna equip. Uh, okay, what the hell happened to my tickets? Okay. I'm going to equip uh, the Viathan on Thanquit, so it's crucial that I get enough Thanquit shards to get him to LB4, because if not, then Leviathan's pretty useless without it. Uh, essentially, I'll end up with without a guy to use the Leviathan on, which is really awkward. But these Danquish shards are ridiculously rare. Also, because these books only either come in brown or gold, there's really no in between. People are like, they got enough Lee Shola shards to max her like six times over. Here we go, finally got one. Alright, there's one, hopefully it's a 20. Uh, only 10. Uh, I'm still short about 110 banquet shards, so I'm not too sure it's okay for me to buy uh, Leviathan here. Okay, that's good. Oh, GG. Streak stops there. Okay, um... Let's look at these banners here. Uh, I do intend to pull on one of them. Uh, Rainbow Fragment of Thought. And you get one time... Applicable Water Unit, okay? I guess this is good if you don't have Glacella or if you're looking for uh, if you're looking for Glacella or um, or Odira. Hmm. Where's the rate up? Oh, okay, yeah. If you're looking for Glacella or Odira, I guess this would be pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go for this. I don't think there is any bonus rate on this for uh, the summons, but just the 100 shards and the uh, vision sphere alone is worth it. Let's see, Leviathan, Leviathan. Yeah, there's no bait. There's no up rate on here. Uh, so I'll probably go for this. Uh, and then I'll consider going for. Um, this once I have the free vizier. I actually don't have a ton of free vizier right now. Um, I don't know if this is worth it. Uh, this is what is this? One shot forty. Yeah, forty one twenty one twenty. Okay, so two hundred and forty shards for fifteen k. I guess if you're starting out, this would be okay. Um, but let's see, 15k is worth about, generally you get 300 shards, I guess. That's what's worth. Yeah, so uh, some of it goes to gambling. So not, not, a, uh, not a great value, but decent value. Okay, let's go. Let's see what we get. Okay, vision card. That's good. I'm kind of hoping for Dario, but yeah, I think this is all SR, except for that one vision card right there. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, wrong dragon. <laughs> uh, I saw a dragon and I was like, oh, dragon. Wrong dragon. Okay, second chance. Uh, but at least that was a card that I don't have. Uh, well, I mean, I have the card. That is, 
At least that was a card that I don't have maxed out. So I'll take it. Kind of hoping for Dario there. Nope. That one kind of looks rainbow, but it's not. Uh. Uh, okay, wrong dragon again. <laughs> That's awkward. Uh, that's a really cool summoning animation. Uh, I'm tempted to go for Leviathan, but I don't have the free Vizier, so I'll have to end up using Paid. And I'm not too, not too sure if I'm okay with doing that. Um, also, uh, um, also that uh, if I want to go for Leviathan, I'll need to get the anchor to 89. So I got uh, so that's another 9k vizier there. There's a 10k vizier here. Uh, costs about 13k to max out a vision card. So we're looking at something like uh, so we're looking at something like. 20k Vizier to use the Anchor effectively. Oh yeah, I didn't see the New Year Celebration shot there. One UR unit guaranteed. Uh, this doesn't have any... Okay. Oh wait, no it does. Release before... Uh, one unit, unit released before. Okay, so that's not Nivlu. Uh, I think that's Luarta. I think you might be able to get Luarta with this. Uh, key quest unlocking packs. This seems like it's okay. Unit selection pack. Uh, okay, this kind of tells you which UR you can get with the other ticket. Uh, it is it is possible to get Luarta there. So, if you want, you can actually straight up buy Luarta. But vision card summoning tickets. Uh, I guess if you want, you can also buy Blossom here. Uh, which is not bad. These are actually pretty good bundles. Um, yeah, uh, probably not gonna go and grab Leviathan. I'll probably come back and either get him during the, uh, I'll probably get Leviathan during the quest, I mean, during the, um, uh, I'll probably either get Leviathan during the, uh, what's that called, the, an the anniversary, or what I'll do is, um, I'll wait until the end of the week until I can pull out Thancred and then I'm going to go uh, and then I'll just buy all of his shards all at once. Um, but this package right here is pretty impressive. Uh, this is 120, this is uh, 150, this is 75. So you only need another uh, 50, which you can get from the daily, uh, the daily purchase thing. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, key quests. I don't know what this is worth, but I'm okay buying it. Summon three UR cards. Uh, I think I can buy that. That's probably good value. Uh, this one I can't really. This one not as much because I already have all the units. Uh, especially the old ones, I think I have them all maxed out. 
but they will be useful come EX jobs. Uh, so the way I look at it is uh, one shard is 50, so this is 10 shards. Uh, for the price of 10 shards, you get uh, 25 shards and three rune. Uh, you get 25 shards. I think this is worth it. Uh, this one on the other hand. Uh, select summon tickets. I'd rather have select shard tickets. Um, I guess if I pick Gilgamesh shards with them. Uh, Gilgamesh shards 100 each. 275, I guess that's okay. But I, I don't know where that 70% is coming from. I guess that's from the uh, orbs things. Vision card enhancing pack. The, the rest of this stuff's kind of crappy. This one's actually pretty good. Uh, this will help you max Leviathan real fast. Uh, this race support bundle. Uh, this I think I can get as well. Uh, burst bundle, killer bow, golden armor plus three. Aim ring, elemental magic sight tickets. See when this is compared to that, this blue one suddenly looks amazing. Uh, okay, you can buy this. Killer bow, unit awakening package. Uh, that's kind of trash. Uh, the rest are kind of eh. The rest are kind of hit or miss. So, yeah, I wouldn't really get the rest of this. Uh, for Leviathan, I'll probably just wait. Um, and then maybe once I decide to pull Leviathan, I'll make a video of that. And then I'll combine it with this video. And we'll have one video. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Okay, so I kind of decided we're just going to go on a little spending spree here. And I'm going to buy this here. It has the ability to summon downtime. So in the event that I want downtime, I can just buy it outright with this. And I think that's probably an okay deal. So I don't have to go farm downtime. Uh, this one, for those of you that are interested in buying Luarta, uh, you can get her for 2,000. You can get her for 2,000 paid Vizior. Because she's right here. So if you, those of you that didn't pull for Luarta, I'm surprised that the ticket came out so early. Um, this one I actually have to think about because I already have all the units. Um, uh, because I'll, I have all the units and it's 50, uh, 50 shards per character. I guess if I pull Gilgamesh with this, it'll be okay. Uh, but this one I have to think about. But we're going to go uh, pull for Leviathan here. Um... Generally, I'm pretty lucky with these that I would get the card by the fourth poll, which is awesome because then I don't need to get anything else. Uh, so here we go. Um, I don't have too much free Vizier, so I'm going to be using some of my paid Vizier. And I figure either I buy a new bundle and use the free Vizier from there, or I just use the paid Vizier. Uh, this doesn't look like it's anything promising, so let's skip it. Uh, Mario is good, but I was kind of hoping for, uh, Dario. 300 growth fags is not bad. Uh, from here, what I'm going to do after that, I'm just going to, I'm just going to buy that Leviathan bundle. Um, that, uh, that 2000 paid that I used to summon, uh, Levi that I tried to summon Leviathan and got the two, uh, twin headed dragons. Uh, that two times thing. Um, oh my gosh, get this all the time. I was kind of, uh, that two times, uh, Esper summon. I can use that, uh, that gave a ticket that let me get a hundred, uh, that let me get a hundred Leviathan shards. 
So I should be able to straight up max Leviathan uh, going in. Which is pretty impressive, all things considered. And I think I jinxed myself about uh, getting the thing on the third on the third pole, because <laughs> I've been getting really crappy poles here. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if I get it. If I get it, I save two thousand paid. If not, I don't get it. If I don't get it, I don't get it. Okay, here we go. No, no change. But I did get Santom Assassin, so that's good. I'm not really gonna level that. It'll be funny if this one is downtime, <laughs> because I bought the other bundle just to see if I can get downtime. Change. Nice. And here it is. See? I'm. This is about the third or fourth time this has happened that I got the card right before the fifth step. Uh, that tends to be the trend with my account here. Uh, we're going to screenshot this. Send it to my friend. Uh, kind of realized uh, dual recorder, <laughs> this uh, dual recorder that I use for uh, my computer, that I use to record on my computer, or I used to record on my phone, is actually stronger than, <laughs> than uh, the combination of stuff on my computer because it has its own editor, which is insane. But here we're just going to outright max out this Leviathan here. Uh, I need 20 shards. Right, yeah, I need 20 shards. I'm going to summon 100 here. I hope I have the gold. I don't think I have the gold to do this. But I might just straight up max out a Leviathan for you guys. Huh. That's weird. I don't know. This is the select summon. I want this one. Okay, you got 100 Leviathan shards. Now I'm kind of stuck trying to get... Now I'm kind of stuck getting Banquet as well. But that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes I get bored and we go on a little spending spree here. But I should get enough coins from here. Well, not enough gill snappers here. Two little gill snappers. And only nine rainbow. Uh, not too sure that'll be enough. But right now, there are 227 Leviathan shards. And I'm just going to straight up max this. Provided I have the gold, which I don't think I do. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll just end up buying another, um, I'll just end up buying another gold bundle, but... I'd rather not have to do that. This is kind of maxing it out just for video purposes. Um, otherwise, I feel like it's a huge race of rainbow spheres. But there we go. Let's see if it's maxable. Oh, it's maxable, but I'm short by about 4 million gold. Uh, I think it's, yeah, I don't think that's possible. Okay, it's fine. Just get it maxed to whatever I can get it to. And I'll take care of the rest later. Alright, that was the Leviathan spending spree. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a great day. Alright, the perfectionist in me was really bothering me, so here we go. I'm gonna finish making this.
It was just really bothering me that I couldn't finish this on uh, video. And that basically wastes all my gold and all my eggs. But here we go. Unfortunately, this means I'm pretty much invested into Dankrit, so uh, I might have to drop another 8k, 9k on uh, Dankrit. Oh well, too bad. It is what it is. Alright, thank you guys for watching this crazy spending spree. Uh, those of you that uh, felt uh, cringed at the thought of using paid visitor on the banner, I did too. Just glad that we got it on the fourth poll. Thank you guys for watching.